Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I went to college to be a marine scientist. So now I'm actually a marine researcher at Marine Life Studies, a nonprofit organization. And today I want to teach you all about the biodiversity of Monterey Bay and why it's so unique. So we'll go over the geography of the Monterey Bay and also what kind of animals you, you might see in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So an important question that we need to think about is what do we need to survive? What's the most important things? And most would say there's three things. There's water, home and shelter, and food. And food is a big one here in Monterey Bay. That's what attracts all the animals. What makes Monterey Bay so unique is the Monterey Submarine Canyon. As you can see, it starts just outside Moss Landing and it founds out throughout the bay with very deep canyons. Have you heard of the Grand Canyon in Arizona? The Monterey Submarine Canyon averages about a mile deep and extends far offshore. The deepest part is about 12,000 feet. That's over two miles deep that you would have to go if you were in a submarine. During the springtime, we get this thing called upwelling. That means the wind blows the surface water offshore and it brings up the deep, cold, nutrient-rich water up to the surface. And it causes a phytoplankton bloom. That means it makes more food for the bigger animals, like zooplankton, which includes small schooling fish like sardines and anchovies and even krill, a small shrimp-like creature. So with more tiny fish in the water, that attracts the bigger animals like whales and dolphins. These are all the different species of whales and dolphins you can see off of the coast of California. Sometimes they can even come close to shore and you'll be able to see them from the beach. Or you can go on a whale watch boat to see them. Additionally, you can see seals, sea lions, and even sea otters close to shore. Always keep your ears and eyes open for spotting these animals. This is a harbor seal. Harbor seals are one of the most common marine mammals along the U.S. coastline. They are commonly seen resting on rocks and beaches along the coast. Notice they have a round head and kind of a speckled body. And they don't have any external ear flaps, so what you see on the side of their heads is kind of just a hole for where their ears would go if they had them. This is a California sea lion. A lot of people get these mixed up with harbor seals, so you can kind of tell the difference between the two here. They are brown in color, and they do have external ear flaps. You see their tiny little ears on the sides of their heads. California sea lions live in coastal waters and on beaches, docks, buoys, and jetties. California sea lions are playful, intelligent, and very vocal, kind of sounding like barking dogs. They are easily trained and intelligent and are commonly seen in zoos and aquariums. But in this photo, this was in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. This California sea lion was jumping out of the water, just having fun, wild and free. This is a sea otter. Sea otters are smaller than seals and sea lions, and they don't have a blubber layer. And so they have a very thick fur coat. In one square inch, they can have over one million hairs to keep them warm. They're actually part of the weasel family. Sometimes we see sea otters wrapped in kelp. They do this when they're about to take a nap so they don't get blown offshore. This is a harbor porpoise. The harbor porpoise is a shy animal, most often seen in small groups. Harbor porpoise are the smallest member of the whale family, about five to six feet long. This is a doll's porpoise. These porpoises are considered the fastest swimmers among small whales, dolphins, and porpoise and can reach about 30 to 40 miles per hour over short distances. When dolls porpoise surface while swimming, they create a rooster tail of water spray that is a unique characteristic of this species. These are bottlenose dolphins, a mom and calf pair. Bottlenose dolphins are found throughout the world in both offshore and coastal waters. If you are on the beach and see dolphins, they're most likely bottlenose dolphins. They like to stay close to shore and play in the surf line. 
Common dolphins are one of the most abundant and familiar dolphins in the world. There are two types, the short-beaked and the long-beaked. Before, they thought this was only one single species, but the two species differ slightly in size, appearance, and habitat. Northern right whale dolphins are found in the deep cold waters of the Pacific Ocean. They are very acrobatic swimmers and can leap more than 20 feet over the surface of the water. And these northern right whale dolphins are the only species of dolphin without a dorsal fin. They actually got their name from the northern right whale, which also lacks a dorsal fin. These are Pacific white-sided dolphins known for their distinct coloring that give them their name. They are playful and highly social. These dolphins average about five and a half to eight feet long. These species are also very acrobatic and playful. You can see them doing somersaults, jumps, twirls, and flips. This picture of Pacific white-sided dolphins and northern right whale dolphins gives you an idea how different they are. The Pacific white-sided dolphin has a very robust body and a very falcate or very curved dorsal fin. And if you look at the northern right whale dolphins, they're very streamlined and do not have a dorsal fin. These are Rissos dolphins. As you can see, they all look very different from one another. They can range from very dark gray to almost all white. Adult Rissos dolphins' bodies are usually heavily scarred with scratches from teeth raking between dolphins they also get these scratches and scars from their prey item, which is squid. These Rissos dolphins are squid specialists. They can also eat small schooling fish. But squids have a beak, kind of like a hawk's beak they use to eat. And also on their long tentacles, they have these hooks on them. Or they have serrations on their suction cups. And so when the dolphins slurp them up like spaghetti, because they don't really chew their food, those squids use their tentacles to grab onto the dolphin so it doesn't get swallowed. There are different types of killer whales around the world, but we are going to focus on the transient killer whales. Killer whales are also known by another name, which is orca. Transient killer whales prefer to eat marine mammals like sea lions, elephant seals, dolphins, porpoise, and even baby whales of a different species. Killer whales are the largest of the dolphin species. They were given the name killer whale by ancient sailors observing groups of them hunting and preying on larger whale species. They are about 25 to 30 feet long and they tend to stay with their family pods. This is a minke whale. They are the smallest of the baleen whales. These animals can reach up to 30 feet long. They are known to have a relatively small, dark, and sleek body and can be black to dark gray or brown in color. This is a gray whale. They are about 50 feet long and are found mainly in shallow coastal waters. They make one of the longest annual migrations of any mammal. They travel about 10 to 12,000 miles round trip from Alaska to Mexico and then back home to Alaska. They are gray in color and have lots of barnacles and whale lice on their body. This is a humpback whale. This one is breaching, which means it was jumping out of the water. Majority of our sightings in Monterey Bay are humpback whales. They are about 45 to 50 feet long and are the most active of the large whales. Humpbacks feed on krill and small schooling fish. Monterey Bay is a hot spot where humpbacks come to feed. This is a fin whale. They are the second largest species of whale. They are referred to as the greyhounds of the sea because they are very fast swimmers. They have an asymmetrical head coloring. It's dark on the left side of the lower jaw and white on the right side. This is a blue whale. They are the largest animals to ever live on the planet that we know. They feed almost exclusively on krill. Some of the biggest blue whales can eat about 12,000 pounds of krill in one day. That's about the weight of an elephant. Blue whales have a long body and slender shape. They have a mottled blue-gray pattern on their body that appears light blue underwater. That's where they got their name, blue whale. 
Now that you've seen and learned a little bit about the different animals in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, we're gonna say their names together. So follow along with me. Harbor seal. California sea lion. Sea otter wrapped in kelp. Bottlenose dolphins, calf with mom. Harbor porpoise. Doll's porpoise. Long-beaked common dolphin. Short-beaked common dolphin. Northern right whale dolphin. Pacific white-sided dolphin. Risso's dolphin. Risso's dolphin, juvenile. Risso's dolphin, calf with mom. Transient orca, killer whale. Minky whale. Gray whale. Humpback whale. Fin whale. Blue whale head. Rostrum and blowhole. So I want to thank you for listening and learning all about the biodiversity of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.